Okay, we're going to test the uh, Singer Heavy Duty Model 4223 here, and I'm only filming this one. I tried the Janome HD 1000, and it really struggled doing the belt loop, and uh, I tried the Singer uh, 9970, and it got through about three or four stitches and just basically wouldn't go anymore, and uh, which kind of surprised me. I figured it'd do better than that after my other test. And let's see, I haven't tested the, I've got the Toyota and the Kenmore uh, machine that I can still test, but this one, when I tested it, worked great, so I wanted to show you this, just so you could see what pleases me about this machine. Basically, you can get it off Amazon for $145, and to have a machine that will sew denim, heavy-duty stuff for $145, and not put your your other machine, your electronic machine, through the uh, burden of it. I think that's kind of the way to go. So here we go. I'm going to sew right where the double fold is, just to the left of the original hem. I do use a walking foot because basically you need it because this fabric is so thick to get it to feed through the feed dog. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to do a zigzag stitch. We're going to go a length of about just a tad over one and a width just a tad over one on both cases to get that dense stitch that they get. Actually, I'm going to get a one on the length. Let me try that and see how it does. Try to back stitch, it gets dense. So, if you want a little bit more dense, you can back stitch over it. And the difference is, this machine will actually do the back stitch. Uh, the other machines didn't stand a chance. You keep it lined up. Yeah, I'm not lined up. Shift it on me a little bit. Get back in my original position there. Looks like that's the right stitch right there. Make sure the pressure fits all the way down. Yeah, I just had to help it a little bit. It gets into that other previous stitch and it's really dense. And if it gets down in there, once you get it going, it does fine, uh, but you may notice that. You're going to see how dense this is, too. I kind of overlapped the other one, and which is surprising that it did so well with doing that. Once you start doing that and those uh, stitches get dense, uh, it makes it even harder to pull it back up through the pressure foot. So let me cut my threads here. Kind of made a mess of the belt loop but what's important when comparing it to the other machines they wouldn't even do it so here's the stitch that we added down here and uh, it was actually going over into that other one which is extremely dense and it did that which is even more impressive if you didn't have that and you were just doing the belt loop um, it goes through it just without any problem at all because I tested it on some fresh fabric on some jeans that I'm making and uh, they pretty much did a stitch along the line of this without any problem at all. So uh, anyway, after testing the other machines, uh, the Janome HD 1000 and seeing how it struggled with this, uh, it got through it, but it took a lot of hand turning and cranking to help it. Um, and then the Singer 9970 doing about four stitches in the zigzag and seizing up. Now, I tried it three times, giving it the best chance, thinking maybe you know something was wrong, and it just flat wouldn't do it. It just lock up, so that was a little bit disappointing. But for 150 bucks, basically, um, I'd buy this machine and use it for jeans because it does belt loops. It will do the hem. Let me do the hem on it real quick. I put the hem out of these pants so we can do it. Do a real hem on it. We're going to start just like the retail 
jeans show they always start they do their double stitch a little bit here before the uh, the hump on the back of it before it goes over the side seam so we're going to start there let's see the stitch length on these is about two and a half a straight stitch. Tension on eight. And here we I'm going to get my thread straight here. Helps me to line it up when I get it straight back to make sure I'm going right where I want to go. Yeah. We've just gone over the first hump without any problems at all. second hump. Very thick. threads here where I started. Probably should have done the stitch a little bit longer to make it look identical but it's just a test to show you on a real pant leg what it looks like. Okay we're sewing over the first couple of stitches and then we're going to back stitch to lock it in. it. Let's have a look and see how we did. Okay, there's our starting and ending point. A little, little bit off, but I've seen retail just worse than that where they've overlapped it, where they get careless. So that's fine. See how good the stitching looks over the seam? On the inside it looks nice. Nice stitch. So yeah, uh, what I've just noticed, here's the other side seam. So you can see we went over it without doing any kind of leveling. It didn't skip a stitch, didn't miss a beat. Anyway, so overall, for doing everything on the jeans and the belt loops, which is really the toughest part all the way down to the hem, um, these seams, you can see here, it did fine on those. Um, so I, what I'd done is I'd removed the thread on these and uh, re sewed them up with this machine. And uh, with the stitch length and everything, uh, it looks just as good as anything that you'd see in retail so for jeans i think this is the way to go uh, leather it sews leather without any problem at all um, let me sew some leather for you and show you how it handles it this thing's getting kind of beat up with testing but there's some of the threads Okay. 
go with a straight stitch of four tensions at about seven let's go ahead and go up to eight let's stress it out a little bit and here's how it sews through four layers of uh, medium weight leather impressive that's a size 16 denim needle that's not even my leather needle and so even with a denim needle this is what we just sewed above the white line here you can see how good of a stitch that it sews there's the back side stitch right there so it it does a great job um, anyway for any of this heavy duty stuff don't stress your electronic machine that has all the fancy stitches by a mechanical machine like this and let it do what it's designed to do which is the heavy duty work so again pick these up on amazon i saw it i think the other day for 145 dollars and for that it's worth investing in for doing heavy duty work anyway hope this will help you out um, i'm going to test the other machines and uh, if those do anything successful i'll film them if they don't i'll report back to you guys and let you know